Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with another little update. I apologize if I'm doing too many little video logs slash updates and not enough, not enough content, but there's a lot of major things that are going on at RogueDeckBuilder.com that I thought I would address, let you guys know what's going on. Uh, first of all, again, the site continues to be updated. I just had my highest view count ever due to an article that I put out for the PTQ um, tournament report that I top aided. Uh, appreciate all the people that checked out the post. I'm trying to utilize this website more and more and in the coming future I'm hoping to do all the contest here on the actual website rather than on um, other venues like Facebook or Reddit or whatnot. And also I'm going to be trying to do deck lists with every video that I'm going to put out every video series at least and also the daily brews I'm going to be back to doing the daily brews now that I'm back from Vegas I have some brews that I definitely have in mind also you're more than welcome to submit a a deck list to me at kevin at roguedeckbuilder.com if you think it would make a great daily brew and I will try to do so uh, I am a little bit strapped on cash right now so the ability for me to actually purchase a lot of the newer cards on MTGO might not be as powerful uh, as it was before as I'm investing in some other things at the moment. Again, one of those will be a new webcam so that my video logs will not be so terrible. But also with the transition and trying to go over this roguedeckbuilder.com full-time rather than having another full-time job is quite stressful on the bank account. So yeah, bear with me as I try to get all of that in order and I'll be back to actually brewing a lot more decks on MT Joe. Speaking of which, though, you can always support the channel by going over here on the website and clicking this donate button. Big thank you to all the people that have done that. All this directly goes to help funding the Rogue Deck Builder YouTube channel as well as the website. Uh, you guys would not believe, even though the MTGO prices are a lot less expensive than Paper Magic, you would not believe how many tickets I run through just doing the videos on on YouTube. One of the one of the main reasons is that I, I do a lot of two man queues and those are never profitable even if you have a very high win percentage. Uh, the reason why I do two man queues though is if you try to play in the tournament practice area, you get a lot of people that just rage quit. So it is not worth my time to try to do in the tournament practice. And it just it makes my opponent play the the uh, deck out as well as you tend to get a little higher caliber of players as I said the two-man queues are usually not very profitable. So definitely, definitely thank you for all the people that have donated. That is amazing. It goes a long ways to help funding the channel. Uh, speaking of which, the, one of the main reasons why I'm doing this video is to announce that we have two new playmats. Some people have already, I've announced this before, some people have already pre-ordered, but I thought I'd, I'd show you that it is, they're up and ready to be purchased. Here we go. We can click on this. It's This is on the roguedeckbuilder.com website here, and it takes you to the page that will show you the actual play minutes. Again, this is this is going to be sponsored a, a bit by inkplaymats.com. They gave me an awesome deal on the purchase of these play mats, and I, I actually wanted to support a fellow U.S. company rather than get these from overseas. The uh, last ones I did get from overseas, and they took forever to produce. Uh, big shout out to Ink Playmats for producing them in less than a week. They were actually on my front doorstep. Uh, I've been in communication with Ink Playmats, I, I would say, yeah, like like a week and a half maybe. And by when they were finally uh, made, they were shipped to me with shipped to me within four days, which was awesome. So we do have we do have these play mats. Keep in mind there's only 10 of each for right now. And I will be selling these for $25 plus shipping and handling. Again, these will all go towards uh, funding the channel. And I'm not I don't make a lot of profit on these. This is mainly just to get play mats out there to the fans to actually represent them at their local F and M's and PTQs and Grand Prix trials and Grand Prix as I do appreciate you flying the Rogue Deck Builder colors. Uh, very, very tickled. I actually saw a player playing on a Rogue Deck Builder playmat, and that was awesome. So anywho, uh, again, definitely, definitely, if you are interested, I have these little buy now buttons that do work. Supposedly work. I tested them out, and so far they're working. But anyway, so for USA, they'll be 30 For international, they'll be 40 because shipping in international is about $10 more. Right now, shipping on the, the method I use with tracking, and if you know any better shipping ways to ship stuff, please let me know because I'm, I'm definitely looking into that. Right now, it's a, a little over $6 
to ship them uh, USA and a little over $15 to ship them international using the United States Postal Service with tracking. So it, I can get it usually a little bit cheaper without tracking, but that makes me a little bit queasy uh, using a non-tracking method. I like to make sure that you know the, the I hold the post office accountable that they do ship my stuff, and if I have any issues, I will have that tracking. To I've already used it once. One of one of the persons that orders, I guess he was in a, a larger building, and I was able to you know show him who exactly or exactly where they put it or whatnot, and he's able to find the playmat. So that having the tracking is invaluable to knowing exactly where your merchandise ends up. Uh, also, so anyway, so here's the rogue. We'll click on this guy here, the the gone rogue. Playmat looks like this. It is let me. It is a little bit cut off here at the top. The the gone rogue. So let me show you exactly. Yeah, the the skull is a little bit cut off. That was my bad for sending the the playmat this way. The art to ink playmats, but it, I mean they do look sweet. I'll have to show you a a video. I'll I'll hold them up on my next vlog, and you can show you can see exactly what they look like. But they're still pretty sweet nonetheless. As it is the Rat Assassin playmat, and again, big shout out to Nate Slover for making these, for designing these. Uh, very, very awesome artist. Uh, you can check out his page in the links here. We'll go back to the actual page here. Again, I do have links to Nate Slover's uh, website. Now, the next one is going to be, uh, oh, again, if you want to purchase that, there's this Buy It Now button that is directly associated with the Rat Assassin and when you click on it, it will say you are purchasing a rat assassin. So again, for USA, use the USA button. International, use the international scroll down button. All right, the next one, and this one is dedicated to Jonas and Morton. If you're a part of the Facebook page, you definitely know them as they both both post there quite often. Morton actually brews some amazing decks. Jonas is my uh, web editor. He actually edits a lot of my terrible posts and, posts and makes them actually... <laughs> stomachable, I guess would be the right word, or viewable as I'm not the best at HTML. So big shout out to Jonas. He, he does a lot on roguedeckbuilder.com as well as on the Facebook page. So I thought I'd get a playmat made for them. And this is the Danish Viking, or I guess you could just call it the Rogue Viking. We'll click on this guy here. And that's what this guy, sorry, that's a little bit out of screen here. See if I, whoop, that, that zoomed in. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit here. There we go. I think that Gets it all there. This is the the Gone Rogue playmat, the Viking, the Danish Viking. I've had some people ask if this is available in other nationalities. Um, not right now. I will have to get with Nate to see if that's actually feasible, or with Ink Playmats, and maybe we'll just have them be the vendor for this. I know they do have a, a program to where you can just buy directly through them, and uh, we'll see if Nate can actually make some some different nationalities. And I don't know how I feel about this too, because this is specifically dedicated to Morton and Jonas. And since they are Danish, I thought I'd fly the Danish flag for them on this playmat. But again, I already have had some requests for Irish, and I believe someone was talking about a Scottish and another person who actually just wanted like a Jolly Roger flag. So I'm definitely taking those into consideration. There's also some sweet pirate flags from uh, the the various different pirates. Uh, I have I actually have this book that shows all the different pirate flags that were flown during the the good old pirate era. And we could definitely even think about putting some of those up there for the, the, the little flag here. So uh, definitely open to that suggestion. Right now, it will just be the Danish flag. All righty. So again, the buy, buy now button is here. And we still do have some of the, the pirate ship and the original fish, Gone Rogue Fish, Playmats available. I'm going to still keep these as donation based. The reason why that I'm doing these donation based is some of you cannot quite afford the $25 or $30 price tag that is $25 plus shipping for these playmats and would like a rogue playmat. So, and also some people like to donate a little bit more, or if you just like these, these playmats, you're more than welcome to pay what you feel they are worth. Uh, the only thing I do ask that you cover is the $5 for the creation of the, if it, the, 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 the cost of actually making these mats was $5 for the fish and $10 for the, the pirate ship. And then as well as shipping, again, is around $6 for USA and $15 for international. So I just ask that you cover that. So for the fish, it would be at least $11. And for the, the, the pirate ship, at least it would be around $16. 
if if you can afford that, go for it. Most people do donate, do donate uh, quite a bit more than that. But again, I do understand if you do not have the money and would still like a Rogue Deck Builder Playmat, I'd love to get one in your hands. And it'd be a way for you to support the channel just by advertising, you know, at your local FNM, you know, be playing. It makes me tickled that people actually want to play on these on these play mats. I am I am the luckiest guy in the world. I've got great fans. We sold a ton of these already, and they I completely funded a thirteen hundred dollar uh, computer by play mats. So that was awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone that purchased one of these. I still have plenty of them left, and if we do need do need to make another order of these, I will definitely do so. So again, if you'd like to purchase these, I have a donate button here on the side. Just be sure to again include which play mat you want as well as your address. I think PayPal always asks for an address. And then so you, you say you'd want the fish or the pirate ship. And then, of course, cover the actual cost and shipping plus a donation would be would be preferable. Now, again, on these um, Rogue Rat and the Viking, you can also, if you'd like to donate more than the, the 30 or $40, you can definitely just use this donate button rather than use these buy now buttons. And that way, just include at least the $30 for the cost of the map plus the shipping and whatever you want the donation to be. And if you'd just like to donate to RogueDeckBuilder.com, here's also a donate button. Again, we are being completely funded by users like you or fans like you for the RogueDeckBuilder.com website as well as the YouTube channel. In the future, I'm going to look for more sponsorships. But for now, it is people like you that are keeping uh, me afloat, har har, pun intended, and able to continue to afford this little channel. Uh, lastly, I'd like to just talk about, you can see on the right hand side, and I've been posting some videos, we've been doing the Rogue Deck Builder Community Cube, and so far we have the Limited Imp Magic crew and myself that have done picks. We're going to have the Rogue Deck Builder crew add some picks or here in a, a, a little bit, but basically what the Rogue Deck Builder Community Cube is, is we're going to create a 400 plus cards to go in the cube. And we're actually going to play it on YouTube. And this is just a nice little way to kind of unite the community. I really want a community going, a lot of uh, fellow uh, Magic the Gathering players, and a place where we can brew together. And this cube is going to be something else. It's just going to be favorite cards from different personalities here in the Rogue Deck Builder community. I will actually do some voting on some cards you'd like to see in this cube. Right now, I've got my, like I said, I've got my picks, which was Oversold Cemetery. The whole idea is you pick one card and then five cards that work great alongside this. And... And so far, I've been very, very tickled by these submissions. We're going to have a very fun cube. Uh, Rich Castle from GatheringMagic.com. I'm currently uploading a video for him. It will probably actually come out before this video um, with his picks. Rich Castle is the, the brain behind the GatheringMagic.com um, YouTube videos, as well as he is the one that picked me up personally. Uh, he was the first one that... that saw an interest in my channel and then sponsored me to do the playing on the budget series as well as the the rogue deck builder gathering magic series so big shout out to him so he's going to do his picks in a video and again i think i, I have the mana source that's going to be picking five cards as well as magic man sam coming up so again we're going to try to unite the community and have an awesome cube uh lastly Again, if you haven't joined the reddit page you can go ahead and click on this button here and it will take you to the subreddit uh, the Rogue Deck Builder subreddit, and I, I try to post every deck that I put on on uh, YouTube on here, as well as we have a ton of other users. Wow, we're starting to use this pretty good. Um, asking for tips for the, like here's some other users that have put like this guy's a WB Control. Uh, I'll have to check these out. I haven't checked it out in a couple days. I try to upvote every one of these. As one thing I don't like about Reddit is the amount of downvotes that a lot of posts get. So I try to be more positive on this. So, so far we have 139 readers. And I'm hoping to grow this as well. As well as we also have the Facebook page. We are close to 1,000. So far 923 other people like RogueDeckBuild.com. So we're very close to that 1,000 mark. Again, and also the YouTube page you can click on this little link here. Of course, you're watching this on YouTube, and it takes you to the YouTube page. And we are coming up on some very awesome milestones. I will be giving out prizes. Um, YouTube has this cool little function of, of the top fans is what it calls, and it shows me. It actually breaks it down for how much you like, share, and comment on videos. So I will be rewarding those people that comment the most, that like the most, and share the most of the YouTube videos when we hit 100,000 views 
And when we also hit, so we're close to that mark of the 100,000 views and 7,500 subscribers. We're very close to both those milestones as well as the the Facebook page. So let's just go ahead and, and, and talk about those prizes. Uh, first of all, I don't want to be a beggar for YouTube subs. I'm not going to do any sort of shenanigans like promoting through, you know, giving out horrendous prizes to people you know i i want all of my subscriptions and all the people to be genuinely fans of roguedeckbuilder.com i don't want to beg you to have to subscribe to my channel i don't want to have to you know bribe you to be part of the the channel i mean it's getting really annoying here in the mtg com community i'm not going to name names but you can't even go on youtube without seeing these begs begs for subs like subs mean everything in the entire world and it's just getting very annoying to me as as a a fan of some of these these websites of also also as just a YouTuber to just see the constant spam and constant begging and constant uh, bribing to subscribe and I I don't want to do that but I do want to still reward you guys for being fans and you know give give back to to the community every now and again so I try to do these every every once in a while when we hit huge milestones so again at seven thousand five hundred subscribers. I am going to give out a, a uh, we'll give out a pirate ship mat to 7,500 subs. And at a million views, we will give out a, a Viking mat. And when we have 1,000 Facebook page page likes, we will give out a, ro a, a rogue assassin, the rat assassin play mat. So definitely, definitely the way to get those, again, it will be given out to a random um, person that makes the top 100 of the fans here on the YouTube channel for the two that are associated with the YouTube. And again, that shows me all the statistics are, are held in my analytics as I can see who again shares, likes, and comments the most. And out of those top hundred, I'll just I'll just I'll just do a randomized roll and give it out to a random person. And then the Facebook, I'll just use a the thousand people that have liked my Facebook, I'll just do again a random uh, generator and give out a play mat to the face one of the thousand Facebook likes again I don't want to be begging or bribing for I want you genuinely to like the rogue deck builder brand to like like my channel and like me as a person so keep that in mind I don't want you to just to have all your friends join for no reason at all uh, I appreciate all the shares I appreciate all the comments I appreciate everything you do for me I, I am just overwhelmed with the amount of support and man, oh man, did I, I receive a ton of emails congratulating me for my top eight. I was so bummed out by that top eight. I really wanted to win that and get back on the pro tour, but I think it was a good achievement nonetheless. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the encouragement and, and whatnot. I had some amazing, amazing emails thanking me for all the amount of fun they've been having lately with my rogue brews. Sometimes I second guess myself as a player and a brewer and think that, I, you know, sometimes I'm just a nuisance, but all the, all the fans you know, let me know otherwise that they do appreciate all the things I do. Uh, lastly, we are, I'm going to go back to the website. I've added a ton of personalities here. We've, we've got some, or some writers. If you'd like to be a guest writer on roguedeckbuilder.com, go ahead and shoot me an email and I'll try to coordinate with Jonas and we'll try to get a schedule going. Uh, I'm definitely going to have a lot of guest hosts do the daily brews. And again, the good way to get your, your YouTube channel known is to actually add some cards to the, to the rogue deck builder community cup that it, or community cube not cup that'd be kind of cute cool if it's a community cup anyway but the rogue deck community cube is a great way to cross promote your youtube channel i could care less if you have one subscribers or 100,000 subscribers i'm opening up this up to anybody on the mtg community if they want to add to the cube so go ahead and shoot me an email with that and we'll try to coordinate a little collab video uh you'll just put it on your your personal youtube channel and then i will i'll put it on the website so yeah, we have a lot of cool things, a lot of cool collaborations coming up with uh, fellow YouTubers. Definitely a big shout out to them. They've been very, very pleasant. We've we've had some problems in the past with the YouTube community, but it seems to be working itself out. I mean, I don't get along with certain personalities. I mean, we have I have butt heads with certain people, but for the most part, it is a very, very stellar community, and I appreciate all the all the collaborations that have have happened in the past and all the shout outs that I've received by uh, fellow YouTubers. It helps out a lot. And I really, really want to grow the community. Uh, there's no reason why Magic the Gathering can't get the views that other games like, you know, League of Legends or Grand Theft Auto or StarCraft or all these other big names uh, with similar player bases uh, get. So anyway, 
I think I've rambled for quite a while. If I've missed anything in this one, I'll definitely pick it up in another update. I appreciate all the support. This has been Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.